Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in this video we're going to be learning how to optimize your Shopify store for SEO. Now I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how to improve your store's visibility on search engines and enabling you to drive more traffic to your site. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So before we get started I just want to give you guys a better understanding on what is SEO. So of course SEO stands for search engine optimization and this is a process of optimizing your website or web page to increase its visibility and ranking in search engine results. That could be with Bing, Google, Yahoo, just any sort of search engines that you can think of. Now, uh, for those as well who don't know SERPs, that just basically means search engine results pages, just so if you see it about. Now, of course, the goal of SEO is to track traffic from search engines by making the website or page more relevant and valuable to users. Now, they would be searching of, uh, up some specific keywords or it could be phrases as well related to a specific content. So SEO involves various techniques, a lot of strategies, including optimizing the website structure, content, and of course, building high quality backlinks from other reputable websites. Now, if you use things like uh, what's relevant to the actual site. It could also be descriptive me uh, meta tags. Uh, this ensures that the website is user friendly and accessible to search engines. Now, of course, just to give you a conclusion again on SEO, its ultimate aim is to increase a website's visibility, drive more traffic to it, and of course, get it up and ranking. Ultimately, what it's used for is to increase its online revenue and the growth of the business. So what I want to run down first is optimizing your product pages. Now, of course, the first step is to actually optimize your Shopify store for SEO. Now, in order to optimize that, you need to do your product pages first. So make sure your product pages have unique and descriptive titles and descriptions as well. That includes your target keywords and make sure that you use very high quality images and optimize their file names and alt tags. So here we have our actual website. Now, as you can see right in front of us, this is where we can add our first product. Now, of course, if you are already or have created your e-commerce website, you don't really need to focus on this. Now, it's always good to have a really, really descriptive uh, description. So of course, that would be your actual item. Uh, that's where you would describe what the actual item is, use plenty of keywords, and then put it on that description. Now, as well as that, your media as well, as I stated earlier on, make sure you use it, uh, optimize their file names as well as the alt tags. Now, you can't just have, say you uploaded something on the, the media and it's uh, got a file name of like a couple of random words or maybe a couple of like digits. It's not gonna be easy for the search engine to pick up. So you would want to have something very specific. So, so say that it is to do with bakery, or you're selling food items, uh, specify what that food item is, and then of course what the um, .j, .jpg or .png or whatever the file would be. Now of course as well, you would have to change the alt tags. So that's another important method or step to do. Now if you guys scroll all the way to the bottom as well, you'll see this little area called search engine listing. Now. You can add a title and description, as it says, to see how this product might appear in the search engine listing. So just say, if I did cupcake, and then of course I added a meta descri description of, of course you have to be a little bit more descriptive on how you handle it. And the other very, very important one is, which we'll now get into, is ensuring that you have clean URLs. Now, Shopify automatically generates clean URLs for your product pages anyways, but you can also optimize them further by including your target keywords, by using descriptive and clean URLs. That, of course, accurately reflects the content of your pages. So make sure you um, research what the sort of keywords you want to use for that specific product. And of course, you'll get gain better ranking, better traffic, of course, that meaning uh, more revenue. So back to where we were, this is, so we have 
cover the actual page title and of course our URL. Now, depending how you set up your URL here, uh, that will be our URL handle. Um, just say cupcake for this one. So of course that's how it'll look. Um, HTTPS, dropship, um, myshopify.com, dash products, cupcake. Of course, you don't really need to worry about this part necessarily because that'll be your own domain name. All you would need to focus really on is products and cupcake. Of course, the more defined or the more unique that keyword is, the more you'll be up on the search results. Now make sure you optimize your site structure. So ensure that your site structure is organized and of course easy to navigate. Make sure you use categories, subcategories to group the products and ensure that your site is easily crawlable by search engines. Now, a clear and log uh, logical site structure will of course make things easier for the search engines to understand your actual site and of course improve your ranking. So that could all pretty much be done over here as well. Of course, you're gonna have your categories um, on your right side there. So you can see uh, the actual product category. Now, if you categorize that within um, food, uh, food items, now you can have as many categories as you want, depending on what you're sort of selling within that e-commerce website. Uh, make sure you explain what the product type is, the vendor, collections, tags, anything like that, just to, of course, increase your ranking or, of course, improve the ranking. So that's another way to boost your SEO. Now, another part is, of course, to use a mobile responsive theme. Now, from that, my knowledge as well, uh, Shopify does use pretty much, an, um, they do use mobile responsive themes anyway. They all have um, optimization for mobile use. But, but of course, if you have a mobile responsive theme, this means that with mobile traffic, um, you can portion all of your e-commerce traffic. So you, of course, would have the mobile users as well as the actual desktop users. Uh, it's always critical to have a mobile responsive theme that looks great on all devices. A mobile theme not only improves the user experience, but of course improves your search engine rankings. And of course, you're also inviting more users as well to search up your actual website. Now, if you only just cater to desktop users and you, if anybody tries to use the mobile device and it's all over the place, then there's not much point of using the actual mobile version and it pretty much just puts you off as a visitor or user to the website. So that's just something else to take into consideration. Um, what we'll do is we'll take a look at some of the themes and maybe pick out one of them for our actual website. Now, these are some of the themes that are currently available on Shopify at the minute. Uh, if you just search up Shopify themes. Now, of course, you can go for a free or paid for version. Uh, there are quite a few options there within just the free sector as well. Um, of course, if I say I'll click on one of them, so we'll go ahead and go with the taste one and we'll go ahead and view a demo store. You'll see that there's actually optimization for mobile devices. So you see how well it looks within that actual um, device. So it just gives you a base idea on it as well. And you can see how optimized it is for, of course, desktop use. Now, this will occur for any other themes that you use. Uh, they should all have a mobile optimization anyway, if we select uh, on a paid one. So we'll use the Vision one as an example here. And if I view a demo store, as you can see, there is, of course, optimization for that theme. Just make sure you double check it as well uh, as other people do make them. It's not just Shopify themselves. So this in particular was made by Fuel Themes. Now, if I go ahead and go back and select another one. So here's an Atom one. Now, this was called, um, created by Wiley May. So that's just an example of what I mean by actually optimizing a, uh, or optimizing your mobile website. And of course, if you do decide on one of the themes, uh, the easiest way to do that, I'll just quickly go ahead and show you guys. So just go to home. Uh, of course, customize your online store. And just below, uh, what you'll really have is the actual default theme, uh, which is always gonna be done. 
but you can uh, can of course choose some of the other themes and of course a few more of them so this is another way to access the actual shopify themes itself so easy enough just click add that then pushes it to this theme library and then you can go ahead and publish and use that instead of the dom theme so that's just a quick little uh show and tell now some people look over this quite a bit and of course uh, for those who don't well done props uh, this is of course to improve your site speed now you want to make sure that your site loads quickly um, of course if it does take more than 10 seconds some people will just be put off it, off by it and of course uh, repeated refreshing won't be good or won't be a good look for your website of course uh, as a visitor you want to just go in straight away take a look at some of the, some of the products maybe buy uh, something straight away uh, you don't really want to be waiting about so uh, of course to do this you want to optimize your images have compressed files and of course use a content delivery network so you'll probably see it about it's called cdn that's the acronym for it and uh, this is to deliver the content faster now of course site speed is an important ranking factor so it's important to make sure that your site loads quickly on all devices you can use a couple of applications to help you out with the actual speed and for those who have actually like coded websites or created websites you may have heard of the popular site speed checkers which are google page uh, speed insights there's gt metrics which is the very very popular one there's pingdom uh web page test or lighthouse uh, lighthouse is actually the ones that we use uh and also gt metrics so those are the popular ones that you can use now if you do decide to go for one of them lighthouse is an open sur source tool from google and it provides a comprehensive report on the actual website speed the accessibility and of course the best practices for improving your site speed. So you'll actually see that within the inspect tool and it's actually on the lighthouse as you can see, you can generate a lighthouse report, analyze page load, um, basically use it for SEO, best practices, accessibility, performance, progressive web app. Hopefully that just gives you uh, an idea on some of these uh, site speed checkers. Now, if you do decide to use a tool, there are the other ones that I've mentioned there, which is GT Metrics, and that tool provides a detailed analysis of a website speed and performance, along with recommendations for improvement. But I would say the actual Lighthouse report would be enough to guide you on the best practices, of course, and your SEO. Now, another one is, of course, to use the meta tags. Now, when you use meta tags, uh, it provides the search engines with additional information about your store. It would be including your actual store's name, uh, description, target keywords, and this will of course help the search engine. Now, of course, if you guys want more of a guided uh, look over some of the six different steps that we looked at, of course, you can go ahead and check out the Shopify Help Center. They'll give you more of an in-depth uh, description and of course some of the information within adding keywords for your SEO to your Shopify store. They'll give you some, some information on the actual meta tags as well. And you've also got areas there which shows you the set all, uh, image alt text as well. So quite a useful bit of information on the actual Shopify help center itself. And of course, just to add to the uh, for what we've actually discussed is that you can use the App Store to your advantage on SEO. Now, if you quickly just find and search up SEO, uh, as you can see, there's different apps there like Yoast SEO. So this is increasing organic traffic, technical SEO, and of course, get rich results. Uh, you've got one there for blog, email, and social ads. So of course, if you want to push your website out there, uh, you could do some of the apps there. Some of them, just a note, are going to be paid for, of course, or will have a free version, but is limited to some of its features. Now, there is one there which is called Upsell and uh, Pop-Ups Email Marketing. So that would be a great one, especially if you want to upsell, uh, send newsletters and SMS texting. Of course, the more sort of apps you use, the more you push your website out there, the more recognizable it'll be towards the search engine itself. 
So guys, there you have it. That is some of the tips and tricks on how to optimize your Shopify store for SEO. Of course, if you follow these best practices, you'll be able to drive more traffic to your site, increase your rankings on search engines, and pretty much just ultimately grow the business. I do hope that you guys enjoyed yourself and hopefully this has given you a foundation or base to start off with the SEO. Of course, if there's anything else that we can uh, let you know about or if you have any questions at all, please do let us know in the comment section below. But other than that, good luck with your Shopify store and I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.